Welcome back, Cardboard Warriors. How's everybody out there doing today? I've got another collector's box of Brothers War. Um, I've opened a few of these. The first one was awesome. I got the shattered glass uh, foil transformer in there. Um, but the last couple were really, really bad. So hopefully this one picks up. This is the last one I got in the original ones I got. But I've got a couple more from other sources, uh, just singles. So I think this is the last one from that same case that had the shattered glass. We'll see. Uh, we'll see if we get anything good. I'm really hoping for a numbered card. I kind of don't want to stop opening these until I get a numbered card. <laughs> but, you know, there's only so much money out there. I can only open so many of these. So uh, I did get them at a pretty decent price, and I've been hunting them down at pretty decent prices since then. So I haven't really overpaid for these too much, but... Um, I don't think they're going to go down. They keep going up. So let me know what you guys are seeing out there. But I'm seeing not many on the market. And the prices keep kind of climbing up. Um, you know, we passed on a couple of cases early on. Because we were like, oh, you know, that's it's over 200 a piece. We'll, we'll hope they go down below 200. They did not. They started going back up the next day. Uh, that was the lowest point they had gotten to. It was right around that $200 mark. And now they're climbing back up to that, you know, 220, 230 range, uh, plus tax and shipping and all that. Um, so yeah, it's they're they're going back up. The the numbered cards and the shattered glass foils, I think, are going to drive the price of these boxes up pretty well in the future. So I did end up picking up a couple of cases on that I want to keep sealed for the future. But I do have a couple more singles. Uh, We'll see. When I pull a number card, I might stop opening them. <laughs> but, so if there's a number card in here, this might be the last one I open. But we're going to break it open. Don't forget to check out the description below. There's a lot of good links down there. Save you money, get your cash back on all your purchases. And it's all free. It's all legit. It helps you out. helps me out. Oh, we got a dangling chad here. Check it out. All right, this means there's going to be a number card. Whenever you see this, there's a number card in there. I'm just kidding. Don't believe me. It's a joke. All right. Hopefully, but <laughs> very unlikely. 1% uh, chance, and I already pulled, like I said, I think this is from the same case that the first box was out of, which I pulled the set of glass, so we might have already gotten all the all the beef out of these that we're going to get. All right, come on. Let's, let's hope so. Let's hope we get something really good, or at least a really good box. Got a laser beak. Laser beak token. First pack. I do love the Transformers tokens. I'm going to have to get, uh, collect all of them there. Because I love Transformers. I think it fits. A lot of people are like, it doesn't fit. Why? Who's asking for this? Well, I am. I'm the one asking for it. <laughs> Pretty Island. Nice underground river for a good rare. Death Bloom Ritualist. There's his workshop. Retros are a bone saw and a millstone. And a Helm of the Host foil sketch for our first mythic. And then Megatron Tyrant for our next mythic. Uh, just regular one, nothing exciting. And Gitaxian Puppeteer. And a Power Stone Laser Beak token. Alright, so not too bad. Got a Mythic in the first pack, aside from our Transformer Mythic. So, I'm um, not sure the Transformers should have all been Mythics, seeing how there's one in every single collector's pack. That's not really mythical, is it? <laughs> but, hey, Ashnod. Hostile Negotiations, Kayla's Music Box, Jalem Tome, Elsewhere Flask, Lodestone Golem for a rare, Blitzwing, Cruel Tormentor. Oh, I saw the foil, got excited. Blitzwing on the back, and Mesmeric Orb for a foil retro uh, sketch, so not bad. And a Power Stone Soldier Token. All right. So we've been getting the Retro Frame Mythics in the first two packs, that's good. We just need to see one of those retro frame mythics with the uh, little number on it. That's that's what we're hoping for. That's what everybody's hoping for. Uh, or another shared glass. I'm fine with that. Uh, Hajar, Thanos, Smelting Vat, Elsewhere Flask again, Soul Guide Lantern, Maze Mind Tome for the sketch, and Jetfire uh, for the Transformer, and Maze Mind Tome Foil. I guess we'll put that down there. And a Power Stone a Golem Token. All right, where's the beef? Come on. We need to see some beefy stuff here. I'm not seeing it. Here, Cummins. I think Cummins. Oh, Mythic. Sarath Great Worm. Another Mythic. Urza Silex. Two Mythics, one pack. That's pretty good. Enthusiast. Tome. 
Ornithopter, she's on the Brady, Gilded Lotus, nice. Hey, a Shattered Glass Optimus Prime. Can't argue with that. It is not the foil, don't worry. Not foil, unfortunately. If it was foil, I'd be uh, even more excited. But the Shattered Glass are still kind of rare, so that's a nice one. And then an Urza's Command, nice foil on that. And Power Stone, Doctor Token. All right, keep it going. Eh. New collector's packs are not easy to get torn open here. All right. Cummins and Cummins. Swamp. Hostile Negotiations. Painful Quandary. Scholar New Horizons. Ivory Tower. Nice one. Swiftful Boots. So two good uncommons. Thorn of Amethyst for a rare. And a foil. Uh, Ultra Magnus Tactician. And there we go. And a Sundering Titan for another Mythic Foil Retro. And a Power Stone Soldier Token. All right. Pack number six. Halfway through the box. And doing all right. Um, nothing super crazy value-wise yet. Could use a little bit more excitement. Mishra. Okay. Not bad. Thrown Spider. Scavenge Brawler. Bone Saw. Liquid Metal Coating. Semblance Anvil. RC, Sculpting Steel, and Power Stone Soldier. All right, first half of the box, we did get a Shattered Glass, but just the regular. And we did get three of the uh, Retro Border Mythics, two of them are foil, so not doing too bad, but I'm not paying for the box yet. <laughs> Nothing has paid for the box so far, so we've got to find some more beef in here somewhere. Welcome, great, great little rare. Over the top. Blast Furnace Hellkite. Hey, there we go. Fall Mishra's Bobble. That's a good hit. Uh, it's down to like three bucks or something. I think it was like uh, like $30, $40 at one point. Now it's down to like three bucks because of the reprint. Uh, Precursor Golem. Star Scream. Unwinding Clock. And Power Stone Soldier. All right. Down to five packs. That pack was a little weaker. We don't want to see that trend going. We want to go the other direction. We want to go stronger packs, not weaker packs. Come on, give us something good here. Death Bloom Ritualist again. Brotherhood's End. Sardian Avenger. Soul Guide Lantern. Ivory Tower. Two sketches. Rune Channer's Pike. Prowl. And a Cloud Key Foil. Oop, that eh, goes up there. And a Power Stone Soldier Token. Okay. Once again, they got me with the foil retro border. It's going to get me every time. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Show me the money. Swamp. Painful Quandary. Clay Champion for a mythic. Uh, Hexabus. Self Assembler. Boundary Inspector. Aspiring Statuary. And a foil Transformer. And a foil ash knot. And a power stone construct. Okay. Come on. Three packs left. I need to see something exciting in here. Because right now we're uh, we're looking pretty weak on the box. Oh, oh, come on. Get off the medics. Don't be knocking around the silex there. Don't be knocking your silex around. That's just bad. Alright. Urza's command. Fauna shaman. Terra Ballista, Liquid Metal Coating, Springleaf Drum, Quiet a Spike, great card, another Shattered Glass, Cyclonus, uh, not foil, and a Battlefield Forge, pretty card there, and a Power Stone Elemental. All right, two packs left. Got two Shattered Glass, but that's not enough to pay for a box here. Come on, we need something really good. Because this box is looking pretty weak, actually. Again, another another weak collector's box. Whew. Not good. Another Urza Silex with a double tap. Uh, Puppeteer. De Devastation. Springleaf Drum again. Bone Saw. Chromatic Lantern. Ultra Magnus Tactician. Arcane Proxy Foil. Okay. That's a good card. Uh, that might be the new... Uh, 
It's a new Snapcaster. A Snapcaster in standard. It's pretty good. It's a three drop, but it does pretty much the same thing. All right. And late game, he's a big guy. The old beastie. All right. Titanius Command. Come on, last pack. Siege Veteran. Mishra. Eminent One. Ecor Wellspring. Jalem Tome. Perilous Vault. Slicer. Oh, no. Fauna Shaman. Power Stone Forest Ride. Whew. Wow. Talk about getting getting pummeled. Man. We did not get a numbered card. We did not get a Shattered Glass Foil. We did get two Shattered Glass, but that was our extent of it. So how many Transformers we get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Of course, one per pack. We did get two Shattered Glass. We got the Cyclonus and the Optimus. They are not the foils, though. Not the exciting ones. My regular Mythics, one... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and none of the big hit mythics at all. So, kind of got destroyed on that box again. So, that's three collector's boxes in a row with just nothing. So, apparently, all my luck with these was the very first box I opened when I got this air glass foil. So, there you go. Go check out the first box, collector's box opening for me for Brothers War. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. There's a lot of people really angry at Wizards of the Coast right now. And with good reason. I mean, they're pumping out product that's just destroying their own product. I mean, they're just pumping out too fast. It's not bad products. Every single set that's coming out, I think, maybe with the exception of Baldur's Gate, uh, has been really good. Uh, but it's just they're coming out so fast. We don't even have time to get used to them you know, in playing formats and stuff and get used to the cards on the set and figure out the values and stuff. So they're just pumping it out too fast and that's end up, you know, making a lot of people angry. Uh, it's causing a lot of ball fatigue. A lot of people are just walking away. A lot of people are just aren't buying new stuff. I mean, obviously the numbers are down huge. Their stocks drop 50%. So they say they're not interested in changing anything, but, you know, it does take them a couple of years to change things. They've probably been already got all of next year's and possibly 2024 sets already uh, designed and, and ready and release dates figured out and all that. And probably most of the sets for next year, 2023, are already printed or at least in the printing queue. So, you know, they don't have a whole lot of control over what they can do, I guess, with that stuff. Um, so I understand it from a business perspective, but I also know that they, they realize they need to do something drastic because they're really... Uh, kind of tanking in their stock price right now and that's what those big companies that's what the most important thing for them is is the stock price so anyways let me know what you guys think in the comments below don't forget to check out the description uh, there's a lot of links in there get save you money get cash back on all your purchases it's all good stuff uh, it all helps out me it helps out you so it's win-win for everybody uh, let me know how you've been doing with this set in the comments below and what you think of everything going on and I love to hear from you guys. So thank you guys so much for your time. I appreciate you watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.